What's going on, everybody? It's Sober. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to talk about uh, Venthyr for Demon Hunters um, with Double Legendary, uh, Cinch of Unity. It gives you your Sinful Brand, deals 10% increased damage. I-Beam damage increases the duration of Sinful Brand by 0.75 seconds. Now, you pair that with Collective Anguish because of the second Demon Hunter it spawns, which also extends the duration. Uh, you can keep that Sinful Brand rolling pre- for a pretty good time. Now, there's a lot of RNG to it um, and a couple other things we're going to talk about, but this is really the build to play. you got to play Blind Fury. Uh, otherwise, your I-beams aren't extending the duration long enough, uh, and that uh, Sinful Brand is just going to fall off. Um, and if you're playing Blind Fury, Fury um, you're going to want to play uh, Demon's Bite as well to give you more control over your Fury generation. Um, I play Glaive Tempest, especially in an AoE setting, um, or one with you know where I got to move out to avoid a mechanic because I can drop Glaive Tempest if the boss is stationary, and he'll still just keep it'll still just keep doing damage. Um, Cycle of Hatred is the other one you're going to want because you're going to want that uh, I beam reduction. So you want to get that I beam up as soon as possible uh, and demonic. Um, so initially on pull, sinful brand, I beams to get it rolling. But that part's just a, a wash because it doesn't matter. Because uh, metamorphosis is going to apply or it's supposed to apply sinful brand to all your targets but it looks like it didn't for some reason but so when you're when you've got your sinful brand rolling you basically want to push it up as high as you can on one target spam your annihilation for procs to reduce the cooldown on your I-beam so you can keep that rolling longer. Now you see Sinful Brand is back up already so I'm going to wait for I-beams target another target, Sinful Brand I-beams again. Keep it rolling on that target now. Now we're going to fight to reduce the cooldown of I-beams again and try and get it to a point where Now, we're rolling along. We want to keep them above what our I-beam's cooldown is. So then we can cast other stuff like that Glaive Tempest. Um, Now, meta is supposed to apply Sinful Brand to all targets it hits. I don't know why on this pull it didn't. Uh, Maybe because I didn't do an AoE to engage them all. Um, that could be what it was, but it's easy enough to just, uh, roll through and select different target, add it, I-beam. Now we're back to fishing for a reduction on our I-beams so we can keep these other versions of Sinful Brand up and running. We want to extend them all as long as we can. Now, I, this is where I have the problem with Venthyr. It, it's going to pump. It's going to do a ton of damage, but uh, I'm basically just sitting here procking for I-beam procs um, if I want to keep it rolling on multiple targets at once. If I'm okay with it, you know going just on one target right so we'll come over here single target training dummy it doesn't matter because single target I'm casting my one death sweep and then glaive tempest but now I gotta go back to spamming for because I want to keep that rolling right Because I don't want we want as much uptime as possible on that sinful brand. 
you see I'm up to 15 seconds, but cooldown is dropping. Seven seconds, it's going to be closed unless I can get a proc here, which I didn't. So, I beam to reapply. Now it's back up, so if it falls off, no big deal. I can put it back up right away, but the idea is to try and keep it rolling for as long as you can. Um, I think Havoc is, uh, I think um, Venthyr is going to be the most played um, in 9.2, but I think it's also going to come down to your play style because Night Fae has a pretty good toolkit as well and a pretty good build to it. Um, that works out nicely. Uh, I think they're both going to do good damage. Uh, I think Venthyr is going to be a little bit more sustained damage over Night Fae. Um, but as you can see, I mean, it's not the easiest trait in the world to keep that sinful brand rolling if you're not paying attention to, you know, the cooldown on that. If you're not getting good procs on your uh, on your I beam reduction, um, but yeah, it's weird that these tests. It's not like that. Guy, that dummy was engaged, so it should have put sinful brand on everybody. See, to all nearby enemies, it didn't. Whatever. It's the PTR. Bugs happen. Hopefully they fix it when it goes live. I'll open a ticket on it. But that's basically the play style of the Venthyr Demon Hunter. Spamming Chaos Strike Annihilation to try and reduce your I-Beam cooldown so you can keep Sinful Brand rolling. Throw out a Death Sweep every now and again just to get that uh, damage and then just annihilate 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 so when you know when they made these double legendaries or the, yeah, the double legendaries the tier sets they took into consideration they wanted to diversify the build and the play style but I mean this double legendary is pretty much just one button spam if you want to keep sinful brand rolling I'm going to do one on Night Fae uh, as well. That's a little bit uh, different of a, of a play style, more in line with what we're currently playing. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. If you found the video useful, uh, any information you liked, don't for forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate you guys. Have a great day.